Give it up for the Giant Slayer himself, member for Scarbrand, Stuart Aubrey! <laughs> we have some... Uh, <laughs> We have some questions for you, obviously. We want to hear everything about uh, you won the seat of Scarborough, which was formerly a Liberal stronghold. When was the last time Labor was in? Uh, so I'm 30. It's been Liberal since before I was born. So I'm the first Labor member in 30 years. Wow. So... <laughs> I was curious about this, because I hadn't recognised you before, uh, and obviously this was your first time running an election. Uh, how... Did you, what, what did you, how did you come into it? What happened? Uh, I've been in the Labor Party for a long time, since I was about 21, but I was quite happily working, uh, working up at Telford Goldmine, FIFO, Sparky, and um, travelling on my, on my breaks, and I was in, doing the Cape to Cape, and i just finished, and I was sitting at Cape Naturalist Lighthouse, and I got a phone call, and um, I was pretty tired and exhausted and sore, and I was not going to answer, but I did anyway, and it was the Deputy State Director of the Labor Party in Western Australia, Ellie Whitaker. And you know, hello, drop, hello, okay. and then and then she goes. Yeah, it's a long, it's a name drop, but it's a long one. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> um, and she sort of gave me a spiel, and then went, "We want you to put your hand up to be the candidate for Scarborough." And I went, "You fucking what?" <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> two days later, I came back up, and I answered. I asked probably about thirty questions before I got to the most important one that I finished on. I said, "This is the question that's going to make or break whether or not I'm a candidate." And they were both, both of them sort of sitting on the edge of their seat, and I went, do I have to cut my hair? And they both <laughs> almost leapt out of their seat and went, no! Thank God, that's why they want you. Yeah, definitely. They've got a, a yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I got no political experience. Yeah, Labor's got a lucrative uh, deal with uh, Pantene. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is funny. Like, obviously, we do joke around about Mark, but you've actually met him multiple times, and uh, there was a funny story you were telling me before I wanted you to tell again. Uh, you asked him for advice. Uh... Well, so the first time I met Mark as a candidate, I was, he came out to Scarborough for a, a walk around the foreshore, and <laughs> we took, we took some photos. This is mine. This yeah. is mine. <laughs> it's about to be mine. In eight months' time, it'll be yeah, mine. Yeah. Um, and I was... Um, so I'm a tradie. I don't wear suits very often. Oh, I do now, but I didn't used to. Um, I spent about 45 minutes in the mirror trying to tie a half Windsor knot. Um, it's like yours, but a bit thicker when you actually tie it properly. Okay, we've um, so, <laughs> so I've spent about 45 minutes trying to tie this tie and I eventually just give up. It's the middle of July. I thought, I'll just put the jacket over the top. It's fine. It's about, it was about six inches too short. For the guys in the audience, about that, it's about that big. Um, so... I've given up and I've just gone, I'll just wear the jacket over the top, it's fine, no one will see it, it's, it's July, it's cold, I don't have to open the jacket. Then we've walked out of the surf club and Mark's turned to me and gone, just, just unbutton your jacket, it looks a bit formal. And I went, <laughs> then everyone's going to see my short tie. And he went, oh, let, let, let me have a look. And I opened it up. <laughs> I opened the jacket up and Mark just sort of goes, You better button that back up. <laughs> that's so sweet. So he like father, dad. That's the sweetest that God. Yeah. And I thought the borders were hard. That is a charming <laughs> story. I went to Scarborough Primary. This is one of the main election promises you managed to put through yourself. You secured seven point nine million dollars for Scarborough Primary. Uh, let us know what it's going to. Uh, so Scarborough Primary School is the third smallest school in the state of Western Australia, and its population has gone dramatically up in the last few years. And I had the school and, the parent, and many of the parents in the community come to me and say, the school's like got so many demountables, they're taking all the play space. I went out to look and it literally is like a demountable has been plonked on top of the four square space. Can't, can't be primary school. Can't play four square. So, can't, can't play, play four square. You've got to play four That's square. That's the most, you, okay, come on. So you've outraged the yeah. crowd now. <laughs> yeah. Be outraged Sorry, because I fixed it. Um, so, managed to get a commitment for $7.9 million to upgrade the school to... That's crazy. Guys, to put that in perspective, I mean, that's wild. That is 10 coffees in Claremont. That's <laughs> That is absolutely wild. So you did recently uh, attend some stuff at the Scarborough Pool. Yeah, tell us about everything you've been working on. Oh, so um, one of the things... <laughs> Weird reason. One of the things that I'm really uh, passionate about is, is physical activity and how it relates to the well-being of the community and mental health of the community, especially the kids and adults. Supporting, supporting local community clubs and charities who focus on supporting groups and helping kids, um, especially kids from diverse backgrounds, such as disabilities and stuff like that. So like Ocean Heroes or... Yeah! <laughs> 
and like the Good Chat Foundation as well. So yeah, supporting community groups and clubs to the best I can. I just want to say before Stuart goes, it's been such a pleasure having you here. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say we have utmost faith in the career you will lead and we are in very good hands. I cannot uh, express how grateful we are to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, Stuart Aubrey. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate.